there, church family. I hope you're doing well. wanted to share with you a scripture out of Psalms today. Uh, it's chapter 23. Read the first half and says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul, and he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Lots of great truth in there. Specifically, I want to just point you to the first one, which is the Lord is our shepherd. Uh, two things. The first is we are like sheep. It's a humbling analogy uh, that's tough for us Alaskans to accept sometimes, but we are defenseless. We are um, not the smartest creatures. We don't have it all figured out, and we tend to follow the herd sometimes. Um, and so it's it's humbling, but it's often so true. The, the good news is that uh, the Lord, the God, creator and sustainer of everyone and everything, wants to be our shepherd. He uh, calls us not to put our faith in government leaders um, or scientists or doctors or family and friends that seem to have it all figured out. Um, but um, he knows us. He calls us by name. He wants us to follow him. Uh, and so when it's when we're obedient to that call, it's when we can experience the, the peace that comes uh, in the rest of this psalm that David writes for us. So I um, hope that is an encouragement for you today. And let me just pray over you. God, we love you. Um, thank you for your word. We confess that we are like sheep. We're prone to wander, God, um, but we know that you are sovereign and in control of it all. Thank you for that truth. Pray that we're able to walk in it, God. Uh, experience the peace um, that you're wanting to provide for us. So. We love you and we look to you. It's your name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, church.